Let's find trigonometric values given information about the angle. For example, let theta be an angle such that cosine of theta is equal to negative 4 divided by 5 and sine of theta is greater than 0. Let's find the exact values of the other five trigonometric functions. Now since cosine of theta is equal to negative 4 divided by 5, in other words, cosine of theta is negative, then theta is either in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. Because cosine values are negative in those two quadrants. However, we're also told that sine of theta is greater than 0. And sine values are not positive in quadrant 3, which means we can conclude that theta is in quadrant 2. And we can draw the following reference triangle. Because remember our trigonometric function definitions here. Cosine of theta, by definition, is x divided by r. And we're given that this ratio is equal to negative 4 divided by 5. And notice over here in the figure that we're putting the negative with the x, because x's are negative in quadrant 2, and r is always positive. Now we'll need to find y here before we start computing these values down here. Sine of theta, tangent of theta, cosecant of theta, secant of theta, and cotangent of theta. Although really the secant of theta doesn't involve y, but the other four do. And we can find y by using the Pythagorean theorem. Namely, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared or negative 4 squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared, or 16 plus y squared is equal to 25, and subtracting 16 from both sides gives us that y squared is equal to 9, which means y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9, or plus or minus 3. The question is, which value do we choose, plus or minus? And we're going to choose the positive value here because y's are positive in quadrant 2. So let's mark that on the figure here. y here is equal to 3. And now we're ready to find our other five trig values. So sine of theta is equal to y divided by r, which is equal to 3 over 5. Tangent of theta is equal to y divided by x, which is equal to 3 divided by negative 4, or negative 3 fourths. And cosecant of theta is equal to r divided by y, which is equal to 5 divided by 3. And secant of theta is equal to r divided by x, which is equal to 5 divided by negative 4, or negative 5 fourths. And finally, cotangent of theta is equal to x divided by y, which is negative 4 divided by 3, or negative 4 thirds. And this is how we find trigonometric values given information about the angle. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.